the University of Oklahoma Mewborn School of Petroleum and Geological Engineering is forging the path into the 21st century. The University of Oklahoma has a history of excellence in energy education dating back to 1919 when it awarded its first degree in geological engineering. Over the last 90 years, more than 5,000 students have earned degrees in petroleum and geological engineering, which is more than any other university in the United States. Over the past decade, the Mewborn School of Petroleum and Geological Engineering has placed more than 90% of their graduates in the oil and gas industry. The Mewborn School of Petroleum and Geological Engineering is the leader in industry research and planning for future energy needs and drill sites. Here at the University of Oklahoma, students in petroleum engineering studies receive real-world, hands-on education. I've always been an OU fan. I always knew I wanted to come to Norman. It's the perfect distance away from home. It's not right there next to your hometown, but it's a good distance away where you can go home on the weekends, but you're still on your own and learning new things by yourself. I come from a town where we have a post office and convenience store so it's not hard to entertain me. During high school, you know, I was mainly involved in sports, you know, I wasn't really thinking about my future as much as I probably should have. Um, you know, I kept my grades up and I had a great GPA, graduated uh, salutatorian, but you know, I really wasn't focused on college and I was kind of scared of, to come to OU, to come to a big school and decided to go ahead and get over my fear of coming to OU and uh, I transferred here and you know, I've had a great time, you know, I can really get involved on campus. Coming to Oklahoma is a very small town. We have one stoplight, uh, there's not a whole lot there. When I came out to the University of Oklahoma, I saw, wow, this is a really pretty campus. Um, beautiful buildings that all kind of um, same similar style of architecture. And uh, the fact that it's a big um, football school was really, um, you know, a defining factor. There are very few women in our classes, but there are, it's growing, and women are becoming more and more in the industry. Meeting women in the industry gives you a lot of confidence, and they're very helpful and excited about their job and appreciative of the opportunities that they've gotten. And you've really got to reach out to those other women that you've met and connect with them and be advised by them and grow relationships, and that'll help you get through it. And, and it's different to be in the field and be a woman, and it's definitely challenging. The minute I stepped on campus, I was open to all these opportunities. There are over 300 clubs and organizations here at OU, and they are all willing to obtain new members, and I immediately found a few clubs and groups that I belong to and that I was interested in, and that really helped me feel the family feel that you feel at OU. I enjoy going to the SPE meetings. I enjoy going, being involved in AADE, and you know, other than that, just trying to meet people I'm a DLC mentor and what that is is a Dean's Leadership Council and we mentor uh, freshmen, incoming freshman students and transfer students and what we do is we have a class here at OU, it's a freshman orientation class or a transfer orientation class just for engineers and the DLC mentors like myself, we mentor these students. We have small groups where we can get with these students, you know, and build relationships with them and kind of be a resource for them. Um, with anything they need. I'm really involved in the Society of Petroleum Engineers, our chapter here on campus. It's our technical society for um, people who um, are majored in uh, petroleum engineering. And we do a lot of really interesting things. We also do a lot of uh, philanthropy events with those. Um, last weekend we actually just did a Habitat for Humanity activity where we had about uh, 20 students who came out and we were renovating um, an older home for um, people who are uh, lower income in Oklahoma City and um, every year we are really involved in the Relay for Life that occurs on campus in the spring and um, every year we build a 20-foot derrick and our presence is really known on campus. We, we've raised the most money on campus. What's great about petroleum engineering is there are tons of scholarships that you can uh, use to get you through, or through college. Um, I haven't paid one dime of my money to make it through college this, thus far. And Mewborn offers scholarships, there's Society of Petroleum Engineers scholarships, um, what else? I mean I even got scholarships from Walmart, <laughs> uh, Walmart 
um, scholar. I'm with the Honors College. Honors College pays uh, money for me every semester. Uh, OERB has scholarships, and so as long as you go out there and apply for scholarships, um, you will get scholarships. I had the chance to study abroad at uh, the Middle Eastern Technical University, which is located in Turkey. And um, I was there for a whole semester. Um, it was really neat, the fact that they had um, petroleum engineering. Um, that department there allowed me to take classes um, that they taught in English, thank goodness. Um, and I was able to take classes there that equated back to my studies here, so I'm still able to graduate on time. Where you get really hands-on is your internships, especially if you have field internships. I was in Hob for my first year, and Muburn's policy is like, we're going to take our freshman Muburn scholars and take them out in the field, and just kind of throw them out there, let, let them be a pumper for a summer. And, and that was kind of, you know, my, <laughs> my first initial experience in the oil field. They put me in a water flood, and I didn't know what a water flood was. Well, my first internship was at Continental Resources in Enid, Oklahoma where there were two female engineers other than myself as an intern. So that was kind of eye-opening to walk into a company and look for women and see only two. Um, but they definitely reached out to me and we got to know each other and they helped me through it. And it was a fun experience. It was an office internship. I worked as a reservoir engineer and um, worked on the reservoir engineering team. I did the same thing at Devon the next summer um, in the office in Oklahoma City. I worked last summer with National Oil Varco. Last summer I worked for Helmer and Payne, they're a drilling contractor out of Tulsa, Oklahoma is where they're headquartered. And so all summer long I worked on a rig, uh, that's, that was my title, I was uh, a roughneck. And I was an extra crew member so every morning you know, I'd wake up at 5.30, start work and you get off at 6. I already have a job lined up with ConocoPhillips, um, I'll be returning to Farmington, New Mexico. Uh, I'm really excited about that. I'll be out there for um, my first few years. I start work at Devon, which is where I interned last summer, so it's awesome to have a job going into the spring semester of my senior year. I take a lot of physics and chemistry, you know, kind of, you know, orient your, your schedule in that way towards, you know, math and science. and Do the best you can your first two years at college. Um, because you need to pad your GPA for them harder classes. I didn't realize that I wanted to study engineering until my dad kind of pointed it out. He said, Kristen, you're really good at math and science. You know, you've kind of got the problem solver uh, mentality. Why don't you look at engineering? Make sure in high school that you study and you pay attention in class. Learn all, you know, everything that your teachers are teaching you in calculus and your physics. Um, and if you really, really are interested in coming to a college, don't let people try to tell you that you're not good enough or you can't make it because you're coming from a small school. Don't be afraid. You know, like me, I was afraid to come to OU. Um, you know, I, I really didn't think I um, tried hard enough in high school to come up to OU and make it through, uh, through college. Talk to people. Talk, talk to your professors. That's one thing you need to know. Your first year, you've got to talk to people. From hands-on summer internships to everyday student life, students at the Mewborn School of Petroleum and Geological Engineering experience the great taste of college life in a great college town. Educating tomorrow's engineers, placing students in the world's energy corporations, and creating research that benefits the energy needs for everyone are the reasons why the Mewborn School of Petroleum and Geological Engineering is forging the path into the 21st century.